Welcome to ECS Computer Recycling's YouTube channel. On this channel, we're going to show you how to process e-waste correctly from your RAM to your CPUs and all your different grades of circuit boards. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to grade. Those are your different grades of circuit boards. What we're going to do is show you low grade, medium grade, your different types of EC socket, metal, plastic, same with the servers, some network grade and your gold edge RAM and also different grades of CPUs. I hope this helps you if you are starting to do e-waste and if you've got it to sell and you're in the UK, Staffordshire based, let me know, I'll buy it. Let's start from the bottom. Low grade circuit boards, copper transformers, capacitors, aluminium lumps, not much gold to these, it's more for the copper recovery. Power boards, you'll find these in TVs, DVD players, such as stuff like that. So when you're looking, the board's normally see-through as well. I don't know if you can see on the light, but the board has not got gold tracking on it. It's just basically for the copper and aluminium recovery off these. Medium grade, no big capacitors, IC chips. Not densely populated with them, but they do have IC chips on them. So if you're grading your boards and they haven't got big chunks of aluminium on, big chunks of copper, and they're populated with IC chips, they would go in your medium grade. Metal socket PC. The reason you can tell they're the older ones, on the CPU socket, you've got a straight line coming off this piece of metal here, which holds the CPU in. So they're a metal socket PC grade. Now your other different type of metal socket PC is these. The only difference is, on the piece of metal, it goes up and it bends into an L shape. So that's your other metal socket PC grade. Then from there, you've got your new generation plastic socket PC board. If you look up close on the socket there, you can see the holes aren't as big on the CPU socket. That's the new generation plastic socket PC. Old generation plastic socket PC are as follows. If you look on the CPU slot, you can see the holes are a lot bigger and wider and you have a lot more slots that the cards would go into on these. This makes these old generation plastic socket PC gray boards. Graphics card, stroke riser cards. So all these will be on your main board in your PCs and your servers. Gold edge down the side. Now when I'm buying them in, I don't mind if they've got the aluminium on them, as shown. So they can have the aluminium heat sink on there, copper heat sink, plastic one, whatever it is, I buy these as they are. So on this, they come out of the PC, out of the slots, people call them cartridges, graphics cards, sound cards, anything like that that comes out of those, they go in a separate grade, graphics card, stroke, riser card. Metal socket server. So these are out of servers, obviously. When you're stripping them, you'll see that there's two or more CPU slots. So these would go in to a metal socket server grade. Then the one that's worth more is your plastic socket CPU server grade board. Again, two or more sockets, plastic server. When we're buying these in, please ensure you keep the metal off the bottom. They'll have a metal plate, take it off, or else you're gonna get a less value for it. Cleaner the board, the better. Next board, next grade should I say. Next one, double socket, network grade. So double stacked, and they've got all the IC chips on there. These are in nice grade, these come out of your network switches. So if this is something you're stripping, save these boards up. These can bring in nice revenue, these can, once all you've stripped all your switches. If you're stripping mobile phones, you're gonna end up with a mobile phone circuit boards. These we pay strong on. They have high contents of gold in them. I don't know if it'll focus, but you can see where the SIM card goes, gold. So if you're stripping phones, pile them up, you'll see a good return on those. Laptop circuit boards. So when you're stripping out your laptops, you're gonna be left with the circuit boards. Remove all the heat sinks off them. Cleaner, the better price you're gonna get. A few examples there. 
Now these boards, these boards here, we class as high grade. On the boards, I hope it's gonna focus again. Ceramics, so they've got ceramic chips on the boards. So then we will buy these boards as high grade boards. CPUs, I've only got two types here, which I'm gonna show you. Metal top, pinless. These are the two common ones I'm gonna show you. So the metal top, pinless. The next common grade is metal top, pinned CPUs. So as you can see, metal top on them with the pins. Then the big one is your gold edge memory. Out of all the PCs, servers, some network switches and laptops, you're gonna get gold edge RAM. So you've got a gold strip on the bottom, IC chip. Save these up, you'll be surprised at the value that you get for them. So that's just a basic video for you there of your everyday PC boards that you're gonna get from stripping computers, servers, switches, and also tellies, telly boxes, etc. What I am gonna do is a few different videos. So I'm gonna do another one showing how to maximize the money out of your PCs. So stripping down a PC and showing you how to maximize the most out of a PC to get the best revenue for your pocket. And if you're on an e-waste journey and you're looking to learn more how to recycle e-waste or you're interested in e-waste in general, please subscribe to us 